How does the IRS loudspeaker system achieve ear level tweeter directionality? Great question. And it comes to us from Santi in Mumbai, India. How do the tweeters at ear level mid range uh, philosophy apply to the gigantic Infinity IRS 5 speakers in PS Audio's room? With umpteen tweeters, mid range units from ground level all the way to the top of the seven feet high speakers. We touched on this, I believe, in yesterday's a little bit. And if, if you look at the Infinity IRS 5s that you see in front of you, you can see that there is a line of tweeters, 24 of them in the front, 12 in the back, <clears throat> as well as a line of mid-range drivers. And those are also, um, well, they're, they're, they're bi-directional. So you have 12 in a row that is basically seven and a half feet tall. And most homes have eight foot tall ceilings, right? So essentially, this speaker, now we, we, we've raised the, we raised the roof uh, in this room, but if it were an eight foot tall ceiling, this would essentially be a speaker that would be accurate to say it's floor to ceiling. So why then can you sit up or down and hear whether your ear level's here or here or here, there's no directionality to this speaker. Where normally, if I have a regular speaker with a tweeter and a mid-range, I better be kind of at ear level with that if I'm going to get the good, um, uh, the quality high frequency sounds coming from my drivers. Not so with this speaker. As we had discussed previously, it's because this is a line source as opposed to single drivers. So the ultimate loudspeaker system, and as I've said many times before, is a point source. A point source is an infinitely small point where all frequencies of sound are radiated equally at the same time. We don't know how to make a point source. No one's ever done it before. Now, if somebody does it, that would be awesome. That'd be great but they haven't. So the next best thing is a line source. And was it Lord Rayleigh, I think, was the guy that wrote all about this point source and line source way back in the 1800s. Um, what you want out of a loudspeaker is a coherent sound field. By that, I mean that all frequencies pretty much come at you at the same time and in, in a, in a, in a in a constant wave, as opposed to um, a directional uh, wave. So if we have a standard tweeter, it's going to broadcast out and it, it, it you know, because of its frequency, the, the wavelengths are pretty short. So it's going to come out like this and it's going to create a little bit of a sphere. And so if you're off axis on this sphere, if you're up or down, just picture it as a bubble. It's the easiest way to do it. So I got this bubble. That's, a, that's this big, let's just call it, just for sake of discussion and argument. Let's not argue. For the sake of, of, of discussion, it's going to be this big. If I get below that sphere, what we call off-axis, or to the side or above it, then the energy level is not going to be the same at my ears. Now compare that to what happens in a line source. A line source makes a perfect cylinder, top to bottom, of sound that comes out with, the, with equal energy coming at you at the same time. So this, this, this column of energy is coming at you and it doesn't matter if you're here or here. Left and right matters a bit because the, the, the column isn't you know, quite as large as the room, obviously. But from top to bottom, it doesn't really matter because this wall or cylinder of sound has equal energy from essentially floor to ceiling. And part of the good part of a line source is that it also has very little in the way of floor and ceiling bounce because it's all contained in this cylinder. Uh, uh, and to add to that, this is a dipole. So what else is it advantageous about a dipole? Well, a dipole means that sound is coming from the front and from the back, but they're out of phase. As the front pushes, the back 
poles. And where they meet at the edges, they cancel each other out. So that means that at the edges out here, there's very little sound coming, so we don't have much in the way of sidewall interactions. So this kind of line source is about as perfect as it gets, uh, if you, uh, except for the point source, if you can tolerate having a pair of seven and a half foot tall speakers in your house. But that's why it's really agnostic to your seating height and, and position. Uh, and that's because it's a line source. So I hope that helped. And uh, if you ever get a chance to hop out of Mumbai and head over here, this room is yours. Come on in and, and have a listen. And I encourage any one of you out there in the audience to come by PS Audio. We're in Boulder, Colorado. Um, we, we, we just charge a quarter, just 25 cents. Come on down. Yep. And we'll, we'll treat you right. We'll show you the system, let you play and have fun because that's what it's all about. All right. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.